Hey Hokie Nation, this is Amber Miller here with the Virginia Tech Baseball Report. I'm here with Coach Mason who led the Hokies to yet another series win against Toledo. Now Coach, you had your starting pitchers throw 30 innings without giving up a single run. What was behind the strong pitching this weekend? Um, they, I thought our pitchers did a really good job throwing strikes. Uh, we didn't give any free passes. Um, the walks were very minimal, the hip bats were very minimal, and we played very good defense. So that combination is a, is a recipe for your starter pitches to, to have success. Now you mentioned how the Hokies did so well with their bat this past weekend. Transferring from Saturday to Sunday, they seemed so much more focused at the plate. What do you think was that triggered the spark in production? Yeah, I thought we did a good job of getting back to our approach at the plate on Sunday. The, we had gotten away from it Saturday. And a lot of things have kind of factored into that. Uh, Toledo had uh, good pitchers against us on Saturday and the, the elements. It was a tough environment to score runs. And so that whole combination uh, got us away from our approach, I thought. And we made a conscious effort pregame and batting practice on Sunday to, to get back to that approach and to execute the way that we know how we're, uh, in, you know, the way we know we're capable of doing so. I thought we did a good job of doing that Sunday. Now, throughout this series, you had a few freshmen take the field. How did the rookies deal with the pressure against Toledo? Well, they did a good job. Uh, we, as you can tell, uh, three weeks in, we have uh, four freshman arms who are, who are getting put into the uh, important roles, you know, challenging roles coming out of the bullpen and, and, and tight ball games. Those four guys have, have done a tremendous job, uh, especially with their composure and, and how they're handling themselves on the mound. And then uh, Max and, and Joe, uh, offensively, I thought they both did a good job this weekend. So it, it helps to have the leadership that we have, and you know we're not relying on seven freshmen maybe per se uh, from day to day. But you plug them in, and you have good leaders, good teammates around them. That makes it a little bit easier. Now going into your first home game tomorrow against Charleston, the Hokies are six and five. How do you and the rest of the team prepare to use these games to prepare for your first ACC series weekend? Yeah, it's it, it's going to be just like every other game. We got to use tomorrow um, to, to get better at what we weren't good at yesterday or today. So it's not necessarily that we're four days away from ACC play. We're just going to try to clean up a little bit more defensively, clean up a little bit more uh, on the mound and, and, and have more quality at-bats at the plate and just continually to get, get better. And that will hopefully translate into uh, better play in the ACC season. Well, it was great talking to you again. Good luck to you and the boys tomorrow, finally getting to play on English Field. Yeah, thank you. I'm now here with sophomore right-hand pitcher Aaron McGarity, who just pitched nine scoreless innings and struck out eight batters against Toledo this past weekend. Aaron, how did you feel walking off the mound knowing you just made two of your career highs? It felt great. Um, easily the best I've ever felt my whole college career. And coming off the mound my after my last after my last pitch in the ninth inning, I knew my team would have my back and score the runs we needed to win the game. Now, being a pitcher comes with tons of pressure. Who or what's your motivation to stay focused on the game? Definitely my teammates and coaches. I mean, they're always motivated and energetic throughout the entire game and it helps me do the same. Now, you've had a fantastic start to your sophomore season. What are your personal goals for the rest of the year? Personal goals would probably be um, do my best every single start and do everything I can to help this team win. and if I can, stay healthy and give this team 100 plus innings this season. Well, congratulations. I'm looking forward to seeing you the rest of the season. Thank you. I'm Amber Miller reporting for Virginia Tech Baseball. Until next time, Hokie Nation.